Hello. There is a great book called CSS Secrets by Leah Veru that you can buy on a rally or Amazon or wherever. Better solutions to everyday web design problems. So it's a really great book. It's very practical with a lot of tips for doing CSS. For example, there's here a section on minimizing code duplication. And there's a discussion around this button and different ways in which you can express the styling for it. Here I am in Sublime. I've copied the CSS styles from the book into a style sheet. I go into my HTML file and I open into the browser. And there I see, okay, this is not so nice. This is not what I would like, this red on blue. I press F12, I open Chrome Developer Tools, I click on the line, and there I can see the red. Okay, so that should be something different. Uh, let's make it this color. Okay, that's nice. So now what I need to do is I need to copy what I have here, copy, and switch back to Sublime. And in Sublime, I need to go to color, and I paste this in there. So this is how it would work in Sublime. Well, here I am in NetBeans. I press F6, Chrome browser opens, and I can see my button. Again, I want to make a change, so I press F12, the Chrome Developer Tools opens, and I select the button again, I expand this a little bit further upwards. I make my change here from red to yellow. I press enter. I return to NetBeans. And you can see here that an update has been done. Before it said red. And now it says this code for the yellow that I've selected. And now let's say here, okay, we want this to be green. Okay, green. I press save. In NetBeans and I can see the update immediately. Okay, green. It's a bit too much. Let's make it a lighter green. Okay, there. Press enter. And then you can see that now we have the code for that color green, that very specific green. And if you look in the history tab, we can see here a long list of changes. And for each of the changes, we can see the change that we've made. So we had green and now we have this color. The change before that was that, and before that was that. So here's a complete local history of the changes we've made to that particular CSS style sheet. The reason why this works is because you can see here there's a NetBeans tab in Chrome Developer Tools that by default has propagate changes done in the CDT back to NetBeans and save those changes. In other words, NetBeans extends the Chrome Developer Tools. Whenever a change is made in Chrome Developer Tools, automatically an update is done inside NetBeans. So you don't need to copy over the changes you make in Chrome Developer Tools into your development environment. Just make the change in Chrome Developer Tools to exactly the kind of shade of the color that you want Return into NetBeans and you will see that that code has automatically been added to that file. Use NetBeans. It's light, it's easy to get started with, it's free, it's open source, and there is a special distribution of it specifically focused on front-end tools like HTML, JavaScript, PHP, with hundreds of examples in all kinds of different front-end styles and formats ready for you to use. NetBeans.org. Get your tools there today.